Justice in Harris. We're so glad to have you with us today. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. So how are you? How's life been lately? You know, just busy with some vice president. You know, I guess you're too busy. Yeah. So you know when you found out you're the next vice president, what something went to your mind at that moment? What did you think? <laughs> Honestly, I called Joe. What? Yeah, I called Joe and I said, we did it, Joe. And that moment was just incredible. And look, it wasn't very, very iconic. <laughs> now I've got to ask, how did you and your husband meet? I thought it was a blind date. How did that turn out to me? The rumors were actually true. We did meet on a blind date. And I went in with some pretty low expectations, you know, thinking, let's just get through with this. But duh was so genuine I agree. I agree. and funny that I ended up staying way longer than I planned. Now, trust me, that sounds one from the books. You know? I know. And I remember thinking that this might actually turn into something really special. It became very special for both of you. <laughs> yeah. Now, what do you want to say about you running for president this year? <laughs> I guess we'll skip to the next question. Then. Well, right. So, you know, you've been a strong advocate for women's rights throughout your career. So what do you see as the next big step towards advancing gender equality in the workspace? Um, the next big step is ensuring that we close the gender pay gap and of course create more opportunities for women in leadership positions. I see, I totally agree with that. Now you've had so many intense interactions with Donald Trump. How do you manage to handle those situations? What do you think about you know, beating him in presidential, <laughs> presidential this year? Um, dealing with someone like Donald has really taught me the importance of staying calm and focused, you know, even when they get a little loud and chaotic. Yeah. It has really taught me that keeping a steady hand is a must, and of course, through a real time, it's needed. A good thing I never know. Absolutely. So, last thing, what do you, what's something about you which is very, very special? Something very extraordinary? <laughs> Um, people might be surprised to know that I am a great cook. What? Yeah. <laughs> My go-to dish is masala dosa. I don't believe that. Actually, and even at midnight when I get bored, now I get I read cookbooks. You know? Yeah, it really interests me. And let me tell you one thing: flipping a dosa perfectly is no joke. <laughs> it's so relatable. It's so relatable. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today. Thank you. It was really fun.